the film is called Gravity, but actually what you had to depict was lack of gravity. Or so microgravity. As or it's microgravity. Yeah. But not just physically, so that all of the emotional forces of the universe could come to play. Talk to me of metaphor, okay. how space oh, works yeah. to drive that. Well, the metaphor, the thing is when you're doing a space film, metaphor is almost obvious, you know? Yeah. You have a character who's drifting towards the void. You know, a victim of her own inertia getting farther away from human connection, uh, living in her own bubble. You have uh, 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 the immensity of, of nothingness. You know, it's, 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 there's no, not, not a way, better way to, dis, to, to depict um, loneliness. Yes. You know, so uh, you already have a lot of elements to begin with. Uh, you have cocoons, you know, you, you have those little, sh those little shelters in which life can reside, yes. you know, and, uh, and, and at the end, our own body is nothing but a cocoon like that. Yes, and, and you take her on a journey through at least three of the primal seven plots of literature, right? There's death and rebirth, there's voyage and return. She's on a mythic quest. Did you have to approach Baptized this? Baptized of fire, like uh, there's, uh, yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> Everything, oh, well, in one movie as, as large as the universe. Did you have to approach this as a space mission to send her on this odyssey? Was it that well planned? Both in, in working the story and in working the technology to realize the well, story. The story and technology, were, they came kind of together because when we were writing the screenplay, uh, we have a, we have the map of the technology. You know, we have pretty much okay. W what do we have? The space, the, the Hubble. We have the ISS. We have uh, the the Tiangong. That is the Chinese station. That that by the way, that is the only element of technology that we. Uh, right now, the Chinese space station is one or two modules, right. and we dis depicted the Chinese space station the way that is going to be in 2016. So it's more developed. That's the only thing. Yeah. Well, you know, is is this thing? I mean, is this fascination for space? Yeah. And also, but the fascination of space, and not only space, but the space technology. Uh, that's the reason we decided not to do a science fiction film. It was to do. It, in many ways, for me, is my love song to all of that amazing space program, even if I end up destroying quite a bit. But it's a, 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 a song love to, to all this amazing technology. And I won't reveal what happens to all of those various spacecraft, but it is a wild ride. And we thank you so much for making it. Hey, I really appreciate it. Oh, cool. You know, it's a good conversation. That's, uh, I, I've been four and a half years in those conversations. So thank you, man. <laughs> My deepest apologies for those conversations. Lost visual, Dr. Stone.